geeks welcome to another video so today we will be talking about the hamilton rule now what does the hamilton rule help us to understand so it will basically help us to judge whether natural selection will favor an altruistic act now to understand the meaning of an altruistic act we need to understand something called as altruistic behavior so what is an altruistic behavior it is when the behavior of an organism benefits another organism at a cost to itself now let us take the example of these creatures right here that are the vampire bats now the vampire bats they feed their population members with blood in case those have not been able to get food these species of vampire bats would help their species members to have some food so they basically give their own food so it costs themselves but it benefits the other another example is the vervet monkey now this monkey whenever it senses the presence of a predator it gives a call now this call is beneficial to the other species of this monkey how because they understand that a predator is close by however giving this call makes itself at risk makes it more susceptible to the attack by the predator because the predator can figure this out so this is an altruistic behavior where it has some disadvantage to itself however the disadvantage to itself would be an advantage to the other organism now let us understand the hamilton rule so let us see what the hamilton rule says it says that the altruistic act will be favored by natural selection when r b would be greater than c what is r r is basically the coefficient of relatedness between the donor that is the one who is doing the altruistic act and recipient the one who is benefiting from this act b stands for the benefit that is received by the recipient of the altruism and c is the cost incurred by the altruist now what is this r or the coefficient of relatedness now r basically is this so your grandfather or your grandmother she gave half her genes to your mother correct so grandfather passed on half her genes to your mother your mother passed half of her genes to you and the other half came from the father and here the other half came from the grandfather so can i just say that your grandmother passed one fourth of the genes to you correct grandmother gave half her genes to the mother so your grandmother mother that is from the parent to the child the relationship is 0.5 because half the genes have been sent from the mother to you half because it's a parent child relation so again the r value is 0.5 however your grandmother has given you one fourth of her genes that is half multiplied by half one fourth one fourth is nothing but 0.25 so between grandparent and grandchild the coefficient of relatedness is 0.25 parent and child 0.5 between your brother and you that is between full siblings full siblings are those that have the same parents mother as well as father half siblings are those which have either parent the same either the mother will be the same for the two or the father would be the same for the two so in case of full siblings half the coefficient of relatedness for half siblings it is 0.25 because only either parent is the same for aunt or uncle nephew or niece again it is 0.25 and for your first cousins it's 0.125 so here we have understood what is the coefficient of relatedness now let us revise about the hamilton rule what it said that the rb should be greater than c so the product of relatedness and the benefit should outweigh the cost by 
incurred by the altruist only then this particular altruistic act will be favored by natural selection you need to understand another concept called as kin selection now natural selection would favor altruistic behavior by enhancing reproductive success of relatives this is called as kin selection so when altruistic behavior would enhance the reproductive success of your relatives that's called as kin selection now what is the condition the condition is the same as we discussed previous that the benefit should outweigh the cost that is incurred it's just like you do a business only when you get profit if it is loss why would you do the business now kin theory predicts that the altruistic act will be favored when it is towards its relative more farther the relation less likely that the selection would be favored now let's see if you understood the concept by solving a few questions so here i have questions for you the first question says that the coefficient of relatedness between individuals a and b a and d and b and c is dash now the circles are females and the squares are males now you can observe that a and b what is the relationship a is the father of b or b is the daughter of a so father would pass on half of his genes to his daughter that is 0.5 so first three options have 0.5 next let us look at b and d now what is the relationship between a and d a is the grandfather of d or d is the granddaughter of a so half here so the father has passed half his genes to the daughter and this again other half is passed so half into half 1 by 4 that is 0.25 so here is that option 0.25 now next is relationship between d and c so d and c now d and c are basically half siblings correct because they have the they have a relationship with the mother the female parent so they are half siblings and for half siblings we know the coefficient of relatedness is 0.125 so thus option a would be my correct answer this question was asked for four marks in the section c of csir net paper next this is a graph wherein they have shown p q r and s phenotypes the dotted line represents the cost of the altruistic act solid line represents the benefits you have to tell them which is likely to be evolved as an adaptation now here we understand we have cost we have benefit so definitely it's something about the hamilton rule now what hamilton rule says that always for an altruistic act the benefits should outweigh the cost now for p and q you can observe that the cost is way low as compared to the benefits similar for r the cost is low as compared to the benefit however when we come to s we see that the cost outweighs the benefit that means ultimately this altruistic act is going to lead to the death of this organisms so why would they evolution uh, evolution favor this adaptation it wouldn't and thus the answer to our question is option c that p q and r is likely to evolve as an adaptation next question brothers a and b have the same father but different mothers b wants a to help him which involves benefits and cost the cost incurred is 30 darwin units so should he help b following the hamilton rule so hamilton rule is r b greater should be greater than c now r coefficient of relatedness since a and b have the same father they are half siblings hence r will be equal to correct r will be equal to 0.25 now r b that is r is your coefficient of relatedness how much is it 
how much is the value for r 0.25 what is b b is equal to they have we have to find b and uh, the cost incurred is 30 now after you solve you get that b is greater than 120 so only if the benefit value is greater than 120 a should help b or else it's just a suicide next this is a quite simple one in an altruistic act if a donor sacrifices c offspring which helps the recipient to gain b offsprings the donor is related by gamma under what condition kin selection would favor this is like a direct question to hamilton's rule we know that hamilton's rule is rb should be greater than c if you put c to the other side this is the equation that you will get rb minus c greater than zero and that's my